Hi guys, this is uh, Jason with RPC Electronics and uh, I'm back with another demo video of a product that I'm working on. I had a customer contact me recently and asked me if I could come up with a simple um, switch panel for switching between DC and DCC uh, on the layout. And uh, the way it was described to me, and as I've seen at other clubs that are transitioning or have a large enough mem uh, number of members that run DC versus DCC that they can justify basically um, being able to switch between either one. Um, now, the wiring behind that is very, very simple. It's, re it's really not complicated, and if you know how to do it, uh, you're probably saying this is pointless and, uh, you know, this is, you know, brain dead stupid. And as an electronics guy, I get that. But there are people out there that are just looking for a solution that they can just wire up very simply and have it work the first time. And that has always been my philosophy with the train electronics products is I want to make a product as simple and easy to implement really not much thought you know uh, required um, if you can just follow some basic wiring diagrams as far as connections you can make this work so let me show you what I've got here this is a prototype board that I just built up today and it's a um, actually a three pole um, double pole switch and two LEDs now these LEDs are actually some bicolor LEDs I have left over from um, another project uh, they will eventually probably be uh, just uh, either red or green. I haven't decided. Uh, maybe um, uh, comment and let me know if you think uh, red or green makes more sense. Um, right now they're set up for red. But I'm starting to think green makes more sense because green kind of means like go or okay. And if you look, you can see the LEDs have been labeled DC and DCC. And... Um, I'm going to turn this overhead light off for a second just to show you that um, the one LED is lit. I know it's a little bit dim. That's another reason why I don't think I'm going to use these LEDs. Um, they're just a little too dim. Um, I've got a um, uh, current, current um, uh, resistor in line with these LEDs, and I could also adjust that as well. I kind of don't want to because I want this to have a uh, um, not really a real wide range of operation, voltage operation, but I think with the way I have it set up now, it will run pretty well between 9 and 12 volts. I just uh, don't think I'm going to use these particular LEDs. All right, let me turn this overhead light back on. I want to show you the back side of the panel. Um, <clears throat> basically, four connections. Now, the LEDs um, will come installed, but they are optional. You don't have to use the LEDs. And that's actually what this power plug in the bottom left corner is this is uh, this particular power supply that I'm feeding this is 12 volts DC that's actually there to power those LEDs uh, you could go as low as about 9 volts and I think it'll work fine I haven't tested that yet um, the bottom right is the track so you would simply go from this terminal block to your track to two wires very simple the top two terminal blocks, um, they're upside down. Let me turn it over here. So your left side there is going to be your DCC input. Two wires, very simple. Two wires going up to, well, in this case, I'm using one of my little mini PCP panels with my NCE power cab. Two wires going to that DCC block. And then uh, DC coming from just a regular DC throttle. Two wires coming to the DC. So you can see the wiring is very simple. It may look complicated, but it really isn't. It's just simply DC throttle, two wires from the DC throttle in, two wires from the DCC command station in, and then two wires coming out to the track. And this is uh, essentially all the wiring that's required. And again, if you want the LEDs, you'll need a small DC power supply plugged in there. Uh, to power those LEDs. If you really didn't want the LEDs, you could go as far as to cut them off the board if you wanted to, but I think it's a nice little touch, and that's why I included it. Now, um, I do want to do a little demo here and show you how and show you it's uh, working, but I do want to ex um, uh, point out that we will be providing with this, uh, when it becomes an actual product, 
we'll be providing a, a fascia panel much like we did with the um, DC the tortoise DC control panel um, this is a little fascia panel that will match the the whole pin out or the uh, the whole pattern and everything and will work very nicely with a half inch piece of plywood um, and, which is fairly common for uh, bench work uh, construction is usually half inch so it's a, a pretty good fit um, so so picture picture this with a very similar panel uh, with the um, LED instead of a single LED there be two one on either side and um, and of course the labeling and everything so I think it'll look very nice when uh, when that's uh, ready to ready to ship okay so let's get to the demo here um, so as you can see uh, you know I've, I just went through all the wiring got everything already wired up here and um, I'm currently selected on DC so you can see the switch is switched to the left and uh, right now the throttle is turned all the way down. If I come up here to the spec, uh, to the um, oscilloscope, you can see that it's showing uh, no voltage essentially. Now, as I turn up the throttle, you can see. Now, this particular throttle basically does a uh, uh, half wave rectification of the AC, so that's why you're seeing those humps. That's uh, a positive peak. Uh, rectified AC signal that's essentially being um, forced into the just to the DC side or the the uh, positive side of the uh, of the AC waveform, and that's producing uh, uh, essentially a DC voltage. And as I adjust it, you can see that the peaks are going up and down. So that's just proving that the DC side of the switch is working. So I'm going to turn that down. Okay. And now I'm going to switch this. I'm going to hold it in my hand, but I'm going to hold the camera so you can see the spectrum analyzer. I'm sorry, the, the oscilloscope. Okay, so that's the DCC, but um, the time base is a little fast here, or a little slow. So let me, uh, let me change that a little bit. So there you go. Now you can see the actual DCC signal that's being passed through the board now. And again, that's just being produced by an NCE NC power cab through our little NCE mini panel also available on our website if you're interested but uh, as you can see it's a fully working switch panel the switch between AC or I'm sorry <laughs> DC and DCC and I'll turn this light off again and you can see the LED switches from DC to DCC and, and back and forth and um, we're hoping to make this uh, a product real soon. Um, we'll see what kind of feedback we get from the, uh, the forums. And uh, hopefully this will be another product that people will find very useful in their layouts. So thanks for watching and um, look for more updates soon. This is Jason with RPC Electronics. Thanks again. Bye.